Okay, it's time to finish the countdown of my top 30 favorite films of all time, starting with number 10. The Thing is a great horror movie. In fact, it's a masterpiece. This is one of the greatest horror films of all time. You've got great acting from Kurt Russell. You've got some of the best looking puppets on the planet. You've also got the fact that it's all, it's, it's all excluded. It's all in this confined area in Antarctic. And it works perfectly. This is a great film from beginning to end. A truly terrifying film to watch. Just from the look of the monsters. The monsters look amazing in this film. But the music is just as strong as the rest of the film. The music is absolutely perfect. So at number 10, one of the best horror films of all time, The Thing. Number 9, Evil Dead 2. I love this movie. One of the reasons, it's a great horror comedy. Oh, there's times where it's really got the horror aspect down, and there's times where I'm actually laughing my fucking head off. And Bruce Campbell is amazing in this film. This is one of his best works. The monsters look good. The story's good. It's well told all around. This was a remake slash sequel. That's what it is, pretty much. It's a remake slash sequel. But it's really well done. It's got a great ending. In general, it's out of all the Evil Dead films, it's my third favorite. We'll get to the other two very soon. But at number nine, Evil Dead 2. Number eight. Spirit Away was the first Studio Ghibli film I saw, and it's still the best. The animation is fucking breathtaking, the acting is incredible, and the story is just so well done. Everything here just fits so perfectly, and this is a film that I fell in love with Studio Ghibli films because of this movie. I love Spirit Away from beginning to end. It's one of my favorite, it's my favorite Studio Ghibli film and one of my favorite films of all time. So at number eight, Spirited Away. Number 7. Evil Dead was a low budget film, but guess what? It fucking worked. Had a great story here, and this is one of Bruce Campbell's best roles he's ever done. Really, he is absolutely amazing in this film from beginning to end. And some of the, the visual effects in the film look at amazing. Even today's standard, they still really hold up really well. This is a great horror movie. This is straight up a horror film. There's no comedy, no action. This is just a straight up horror film. It's a violent horror film. One I think anyone who's into horror films will love. Evil Dead is a great movie to watch from beginning to end. This is one of Bruce Campbell's best roles. And it's just a great movie to watch. So at number seven, Evil Dead. Number six, Night of the Living Dead. Now this is George A. Romero's best film he's ever done. I love this film. Granted the acting is pretty mediocre at times. But it's just a film that really it was such a revolutionary film for what it did and the fact it made a statement without even realizing it. But it's a great film to watch from beginning to end. It's a great zombie movie. And one I love. It's one I truly love. I, I love the whole concept of who's really the villain here. Us or them. If you watch the film, you know what I'm talking about. Are the zombies really the monsters or is it the people? I love that concept in this film. It really is a great film to watch from beginning to end. So at number six, Night of the Living Dead. Number five, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a great animated film. From beginning to end, the music is absolutely amazing. There's not one bad song here. There's not one boring or dull song. All the songs are great from beginning to end. They're all great to listen to. The story, I really enjoy. This is a really clever, creative story that one I have never seen before. So I love the story. The acting is just incredible. All around. Oh, and also the animation. <laughs> Stock motion. The stock motion here is incredible. I'm very impressed from beginning to end. This is a great animated film to watch. And I want, I love watching it every, every year. Hell, I don't even watch it during Christmas or Halloween. I watch it in the fucking summer. It's still a great film to watch. It's one of those truly great films that you never forget. So at number five, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Number 4. Battle Royale. Now, when I saw this one earlier this year for the first time, it was a little about a month after I seen The Hunger Games. And while The Hunger Games was okay, it was a pretty good film. The Hunger Games wasn't a bad film, but Battle Royale was by far better in terms of storytelling, acting, character development. Everything about Battle Royale was superior to The Hunger Games. One of the reasons is that The Hunger Games focused heavily on um, just our main female character, while Battle Royale was focusing on um, our main characters, the villains, as well as um, supporting characters. So there's more, a lot more character development in Battle Royale than The Hunger Games. Why am I really bringing up The Hunger Games? Because I really had a hard time thinking of really describing this film. I actually had some hard time, so I said to into that concept. But this film's great to watch. I like watching film. It's a great film to watch. Great action. It's just one of those films that works really well. Battle Royale is one that I think everyone should watch. If you're a Hunger Games fan and you haven't seen Battle Royale, check this one out. You will love it. So at number four, Battle Royale. Number three, Lord of the Rings, all three movies. Honestly, I could not put these movies separate. They're all great films and oh, they're just so well done. A great story, one of the, a truly amazing story. Great battles. I mean, truly great epic battles. Great music. Great scripting. I mean, I could go on for hours why these films just work so well. Also, they have Gollum. And Gollum alone is a great movie in itself. He's Gollum. Unlike Jar Jar, he's not fucking annoying. He's just fucking epic. But yeah, I love all three Lord of the Rings films. I, I, they're just great films to watch from beginning to end. So at number three, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Number two, Army of Darkness. Bruce Campbell became my favorite actor because of this film. He was fucking so badass in this film. Oh, I love this film for getting to end. Love the scripting. It's funny as hell. Well, this is why I love the Evil Dead franchise so much. It's because Sam Raimi does them differently. The first one was more horror. It was definitely just a straight up horror film. The second one was a horror comedy, and the third one is an action comedy with a little horror put in there. And the third one of all of them is my personal favorite. It really is a great film to watch. I love the villain. I love Bruce Campbell. He's great in this film. The stock motion skeletons look incredible. And in general, I just really enjoy Army of Darkness. So at number two, Army of Darkness. And finally, my number one favorite film of all time. The Boondock Saints. This is the greatest film I have ever seen. First, the brothers are likable. They are very likable characters. They're characters you want to go on and have a drink with. I love the brothers in this film. William Defoe is absolutely incredible. The way everything is done in this film, the way he narrates how it went down is so brilliantly done. I, oh, the firefight scene when he goes, it was a firefight, is incredible. The ending is incredible. Rocco is a great supporting character. Everything in this film is perfect. This is the way every film should be done. This is my favorite film of all time, The Boondock States. This is the greatest film I've ever seen, and it's number one.